old Arlington girl is in the battle of her life at LaBunner Children's Hospital. The child is having surgery almost every day as doctors try and get ahead of a bacterial infection that has grown resistant to almost every antibiotic that she has been given. Local I-Team Senior Investigator Jenny DePrizio reports what began as another typical ear infection turned into something much more serious. Savannah Whitlock looks like a normal four-year-old, but inside her body, she's fighting an infection that is anything but normal. Her mother, Michelle Whitlock, says after months of going to the doctor and being prescribed antibiotics for her daughter's ear infection, she finally insisted more be done to find out what's wrong. I knew this was different than what we had experienced before. Tests determined Savannah had a pseudomonas infection. Bacteria is common in soil, water, and plants, but it's not common to cause such a serious infection in a healthy little girl. This is a very rare complication of ear infections, but the vast majority of children will never encounter this. Making matters worse, the bacteria keeps morphing and is now resistant to almost every antibiotic given to Savannah. The exposure to antibiotics immediately was leading to resistance. One drug we'd start and the next time we tested it was resistant to that drug. So we changed it to another drug and it was like we were chasing our tails around with it. She has a serious infection going on and being resistant to antibiotics is a serious thing. You know, my biggest concern is Every time we find out it's resistant to something else is when do you get to the end that there's, there, there's nothing else to treat it with. At Le Bonner, almost every day the little girl has surgery as doctors try and get ahead of the infection. There's something funky about this particular strain that she has. Dr. Arnold says the lesson for parents, when possible, ask your doctor to have a culture done before being treated with an antibiotic. Whitlock's advice for parents... It's our job as parents to advocate for our, our children because in this situation, had I just filled another prescription, you know, where would we be today versus me putting my foot down? Savannah hopes to be healthy enough to leave Le Bonner and be home by Christmas. But if not, Santa will find Savannah at the hospital. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.